trying to discuss the different modes of vibration of a stretched string. So, <clears throat> a guitar violin, something like example for a stretched string, the length of the string remains a constant. So, when you draw, it's advised to take six centimeter length for the string. That is easy for completing the diagram. So, this string tied between these two supports for a stretched string, the length between these two points is supposed to be. 6 centimeter is for drawing. This is x equal to 0, x equal to L. That means the length of the string is L. Since both ends are tied to the wall or the support, these ends cannot vibrate. So that would be a no. Zero vibration point would be, zero amplitude point would be called as a no. In the first possibility of vibration, the full string can vibrate as a single piece with both ends remaining at rest. It can go up, it can come down, it can go below. So these vibrations will continue like this up and down. So this is called the first mode of vibration. Both up and down together will not exist. It's either up or down. So this is absent when the string is on the top. When string is down, the top will be absent. Like that. <clears throat> so this is the maximum displacement point for the anti node. Zero displacement points are for nodes. The length of the string is equal to half the wavelength, lambda mode one by two. So this is representing mode type one, first type of vibration for the string. You get lambda one s two l. Finding the frequency, we have a formula V equal to speed equal to frequency nu into wavelength or nu frequency is equal to speed V by lambda. So nu one, first frequency, fundamental frequency. V by lambda one. Can substitute lambda 1, lambda 1 is 12, that's equal to v by 12. So the v for a stretched string has already learned before as root of t tension by linear mass density or mass per unit length. So finally, the new one can be. 1 by 2L uh, multiplied by V, that V will be root of T by V. So either this formula or this formula is used for calculation of the fundamental frequency. This is called first frequency is always called fundamental frequency. Now, the second possibility of vibration of the string, this string can vibrate in two pieces. So that is mode two.
number two, same length of the string. Fixed on both ends. So those end has to be still angle notes. Now this has to vibrate into two pieces. So if you're drawn with six centimeter till three centimeter, it act like one piece. Uh, after three centimeter, it act like the second piece. So zero to three, one piece, it can vibrate separately. Then the other piece can vibrate again, second half. This is one way form. Next instant, this piece will come down, this will go. So, this will come down. That time, this will go. Since only one will be present at a time, we represent it as dotted lines. This case also x equal to 0, x equal to L. This is one node. This is node. This again node. Maximum displacement is anti node. This is also anti node. So the length of the string now equal to one full wavelength. Lambda. Second node. So lambda 2. So new 2. V by lambda 2. That is V by L. We multiply up and down by 2. 2 V by 2 L. V by 2 L is new one. So you can change it as new 2 equal to 2 times of new one. Since second frequency is double the first frequency is called second harmonic only because of double the first frequency. Similar to this, we need a mode 3. After mode 3, we can go to a generalization. So now this will vibrate in three pieces, like same length string, six centimeter string. The string length don't change, make sure we keep the same length. The advantage of keeping six centimeters, we want to three piece, you can two, two centimeters you can take. So this is one, two centimeter, measure with scale properly. It's another two centimeter scale. So one piece. Second piece. third piece. This will change positions after some time. This will go down. This will go up. Uh, the piece has to be equal in size. What I'm drawing coming to be different because I didn't measure exactly. We are supposed to measure two to centimeters and uh, draw that correct. So it will be equal size. That's why it was told to take six centimeters to avoid one becoming small and one becoming big. This case also, x is equal to zero here, x is equal to L. Zero displacement points all are nodes. Maximum displacement points all are anti nodes. Here also, the length of the string is equal to 3 lambda by 2. 3 lambda by 2. So lambda 3 because third node. So lambda 3 is equal to 2L by 3. So nu 3 is equal to V by lambda 3. It's equal to V by 2L by 3. So this is equal to three times of new one. 
So new three is coming to be three times of new one. Since it is three times of new one, third multiple of the fundamental is called third harmonic. Now it will go like this so many. We just go generalization. Lambda one is twelve. This is the nth mode. Lambda one is twelve. Lambda two, if you check L, which can be written as twelve by two, same as L. Lambda three is twelve by three. So if we can generalize, this is twelve by one, twelve by two, twelve by three. So lambda n nth mode will be twelve by n. So frequency of nth mode will be v by lambda n. So frequency of nth mode will be v by two l by n. We'll go to the top as n. Or you can change it as n by two l. B already we know only for a stretched string it is tension by mass per unit length or linear mass density. Me. So if we check the ratio of the frequencies, new one is to new two is to new three. It's coming as one two three etc. One like this. So uh, second harmonic is always called first power tone, and third harmonic is always called second power tone. 